And based on a true story, this new play takes audiences back to the Lower East Side during the 1970s. Take a look. No more ideas from heavy lifting. People will wheel <laughs> their suitcases around, and I, I mean, passengers will be first in. Or, yes, I'm near the crowd. Tell me something, Angel. What business are we in? The luggage business. The luggage business, wow. right. And the first three letters in the word luggage are? L -E -L -U -G. That's right, lug. You lug it around. That's why it's called the luggage. <laughs> well, that's just a little sneak peek of Bettinger's luggage. And joining us now are a couple of cast members, Richard McDonald and Connor Chase Storm. So good morning to the both morning. of you. Good Thanks morning, for guys. On. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So tell us about Bettinger's luggage. What is this story about? Well, it's a story about um, a, this, a son and a father. Mm -hmm. And uh, the father's worried that the son's new proposed career of being a comedian is... Uh, not something he understands, okay. and he yeah. wants him to stay, hand off the business to him. So it's about their conflict between that. And for me, as a son, it's about being who I want to be and following my dreams, right. whilst at the same time trying to connect with my father and have a loving relationship with him, which there just feels like it's a brick wall. Yeah, yeah. we have a tough time with that. We have a tough time. <laughs> well, I think yeah, that's very time. relatable, too. I, mean, it's it's, I think anybody, or yeah. most, a lot of people at least, can definitely yeah. relate. I know yeah. I can. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. I... It's, well, yeah. it's certainly, and it's a true story. What mm. made this the time to do this kind of show? Well, you know, it's also about immigrants and, mm -hmm. and everybody coming to New York and fighting their way from, you know, where, where they start, like, I'm sure most people have stories of yeah. arriving in New York with 15 bucks in your pocket right. yeah. and trying to move uptown and, you know, trying to find your place in the city. And so, as one of the characters is right at the end, she, he says, you know, you, we came to the Lower East Side and you were not afraid to leave, or you tried to leave, but you couldn't do it. He says, George is not afraid yeah. to leave, and George yeah. is fighting his way uptown. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. as, as Dan mentioned, it is a true story. It is. Based on a Based true story. Based on a true Inspired, story. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that foundation? Well, it was... So, so yeah, um, who I play, George, um, who I had the honor of playing, he, uh, he was a, a, a real person. And uh, he, he grew up on Delancey Street in oh. this luggage shop uh, with his father. And uh, he was a comedian. If you look up George Bedinger, you can yeah. actually see... Um, some stand-up clips of, of him and uh, some commercials that, that he's done. Um, and, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's his story, and it's his story of, of finding his, his way and, and carving that out and, yeah, dealing we, with... And we've had the family come. We've oh, had the, really? fa we've had the family, family come. come to the show. Oh, they, yes. And, yeah, they, they loved, loved it. it. There was, they loved it, and they... Uh, um, and you know, and a whole group of them, distant cousins, the son, Charlie, mm -hmm. Benjamin. Charlie, came. yeah. Um, Are they still here in New York? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's still here yeah. in New York. I mean, you're used to being performers on stage, but did that make you more nervous knowing that the people who you're portraying are in oh the audience? Oh my gosh, that was a Pressure. whole that was a whole nother level. Yeah. I mean, when his wife and his son were were there, I was like, all I want to do is just do this justice. <laughs> and Aww. it made my heart very, very happy to hear the kind, kind words that, that she had Anyways, to say. Anyways, he's amazing doing that when he does this stuff. Yeah. Well, well, like, amazing, it's an amazing like company. This. Yeah, and, yeah. and so the 1970s, you know, I, I'm not, you know, not going to say that, you know, you were not you were obviously here in the 1970s, so you know New York in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not aging you. Thank hopefully. you very much. <laughs> I'm not, I'm totally not it's okay. I can handle it. <laughs> but for, you were not, right? Not at all. And so, so are there a lot of references to the there, 70s in New York and that time period of growing up in New York and what it was well, like? Well, I think, you know, there, is some, there are some references, but it's really more about today, okay. Okay. this show. Mm -hmm. It's really more about immigrants and it's about... It's so about, timely. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's also a little bit about anti-Semitism. Yes, how to, which is on the rise. Yeah, very exactly. yeah, very so, timely. Um, so, yeah, there's some references, but it's more about today than, than yeah, back then. Although we try to keep up with the sideburns and the, yeah, try to have you the know, sideburns some of the boots going, that you would have seen at Woodstock, yeah, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, so is that why? That's why I got my sideburns going on. Yeah, this isn't my usual look. Okay, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is coming at a great time, too. Uh, Off-Broadway week which means two-for-one tickets. Yes. Which mm -hmm. is a great thing. But explain what, because I don't think people know exactly what Off-Broadway means. So Off-Broadway, Off-Broadway means 99 to 499 seats. Right. That, that's all it means. It has nothing the to size do... Of the theater. Just the, the size, size of the, the amount theater. of seats. It has not, It's a common misconception that it's like, oh, it needs to be near Broadway. 
It has nothing to do with it. It, it tends to do more intimate shows, too. Mm -hmm. It tends to do shows yes. that aren't you know, necessarily the big production. Yeah. So it's a smaller production and a little more experimental. Yeah, yeah definitely. And what's great also is your theater is brand spanking new. And right, has great performing? seats. Tell yes. us about it. We have yes. new seats, which is cushioned, like comfortable yeah. seats. It was actually built during the pandemic. So your knees aren't slapped yeah, no, up against the seat. Exactly. No, 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 because we're both pretty tall. Yeah. So we got, we got, we got a nice some <laughs> right, uh, leg, room leg there. Room. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was built during the pandemic. Uh, beforehand, it was uh, the Davenport Theater, and it was also, I think, just before. AMT came in, it was a ballroom dance wow. space. Oh, okay. wow. So they had to create a ramp, they had to yeah. create seats. I think um, Al Tapper, who is our, our wonderful playwright, um, I think he said that that they said that it could not be 99 seats, mm. but he was like, let me get 99 seats, and yeah. he did. Yeah. And it's a beautiful 99 seat yeah. theater, yeah. beautiful cushion seats, and leg room, like he said. Come so. see our show. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I, yeah. tell you, I love intimate settings too, because mm -hmm. sometimes the yes. intimate is really just brings yeah. you onto the stage with you when you're in that intimate setting. Mm. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. We'll be there. We're gonna go. Yes, we we'll will. Go. Oh, great. Thank right. you. Looking love forward love to, to see you there. Yeah. Love that. Great to have both of you here. It was Thank so you. much Thank you fun. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so their show, Benninger's Luggage, is running now through October 26th. So hurry up and get it there. Yes. Uh, right now, you can get tickets, two tickets for the price of one for Off Broadway Week. So run and get those tickets now. Yes. There you go. And then go to the Westway Diner. We love, <laughs> we love the Westway Diner. <laughs>